give you a little bit of background story on uh, what I um, what I did early on. So back in 1980 and 1990, um, I had just purchased a brand new Canon Zapshot at the time. It was fairly new on the market. And what it was, was a still video camera. It wasn't a digital camera, but it, it kind of acted like one, in which case you take a picture, you can plug it into your computer, you can immediately download that, that image onto your computer. And at the time I was developing software for the insurance agencies, um, and I knew I didn't want to, to be in that industry while creating something new. I, I didn't want to compete with with the existing company that I was working for. So I started thinking about what are the companies out there that use digital cameras? And you know, this one, it had a little two and a half inch floppy disk. You insert it in, you, you do all this kind of stuff. So you could store multiple images on there. And I thought, who could use this type of technology? And immediately thought about real estate agents. The problem was I didn't have the slightest clue about what a real estate agent actually did in in their lives so i was speaking at a conference in springfield and just made an open statement after i had stepped down speaking and i said if anybody knows anything about real estate come talk to me i'm working on a new project and need some information so i was fortunate enough to meet up with sherman mitchell sherman was a dentist by trade and a computer programmer by night for his wife Peggy, who was a coal banker agent. And he said, um, I'm not, not into the, the real estate, but my wife is. You really probably need to talk with her. So we met a few nights later and just kind of explained to her, you know, this camera, I, I want to do something with, with it in real estate, but I just don't know what you guys do. So Peggy said, okay, um, I'm interested. Let's, let's maybe work together on this. And so she uh, she went home. We met just a, a couple of nights later, and she gave me a list of like 28 different things that she wanted a software package to do. And there were other packages out there. Some of the, the big names that if some exist, some don't exist anymore. But um, they just didn't do what she needed it to do. As we went through, we started developing the stuff and, and started making the software do what she needed to do. I started thinking to myself, why is it that Peggy was willing to share this with so many people? Uh, I, I saw that she was having problems doing the things that she did. She was working a, a big subdivision. She had gone through and teamed up with a builder that builder was building some great model homes and she had like four model homes and the things that she had to do every day, there was just a lot of repetition in what she did, but it would, she would go in early, stay late, long weekends, all the things that's typical about a real estate agent. And I immediately saw that you know, she was sacrificing time, um, but there was really more to it. And I just, I said, you know, why, why is it that you are willing to, to share this with me? Give me all this information about what you do and how you do it. I mean, we're talking about you know other agents probably will want this and your competitors. Why are you willing to do this? And, and she shared a story with me at that point that just really made a huge impact on me my entire life. And that was one night Sherman was out of town um, doing business or something. She was out of town and their daughter was at home by herself. She was young, but young enough to stay with herself, but, you know, still young. And Peggy was working late. She had worked early, late, multiple days in a row. And Peggy came home one night expecting to find Amber in bed. And she went up in there into her bedroom to kiss her goodnight. And Amber wasn't there. She thought, this is weird. Um, started looking around the house, calling for her and, and went down into the, the family room. They had a big 
projector screen down there. And I'm typically would, you know, watch a movie or something and Amber was not there. So her heart starts beating, palpa, you know, just kind of going out of her chest. She started wondering, where is Amber? Getting into a frantic frenzy and finally going up into her own bedroom, turn on the light. And there she found Amber's legs sticking out of the closet. She quickly goes down, scoops her up, worried about the worst. But um, she was just asleep. And Peggy looked at Amber and said, Amber, why are you in my closet? You scared me to death. And with her sleepy eyes, she looked up at Peggy and she goes, I'm sorry, Mommy, I didn't mean to scare you. I was missing you. And I came in to smell the perfume on your clothes. And it was at that moment when she told me that, why she was willing to share her secrets with me, that she had a problem. And the problem was sacrificing her time with her family in order to help the people that she needs to help within the real estate business. And the more I get into this, and I've done this for 31 years now, it continues to be a problem. And, and part of what I do here is to try to help real estate agents. And again, we've done thousands and thousands of agents, help them to scale their business, be able to do the things that they need to do in a um, in an automated way that saves them time. And that's really what this is all about. 